Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 20th of February in the US. Nothing really seems to be standing in the way from uh, the Fed hiking rates in March. The warm weather in January, which contrasted starkly with the cold wintry conditions of December, will continue to boost US activity data over the coming week. Home sales are likely to going to get a lift with more people out and about early in the year home hunting. Well, we have got a strong idea that consumer spending will have jumped by 2% in real terms, given the 3% month-on-month increase in retail, retail sales over the same period. However, markets remain a little sceptical as to whether this indicates true strength, given the big shifts in weather may have simply meant that spending that would have been done in February and March may have been brought forward, leaving open the possibility of a correction over the next couple of months. This won't stop the Federal Reserve from hiking interest rates in March, and in all probability, May too. Indeed, the Fed's favoured measure of inflation, the core personal consumer expenditure deflator, looks set to rise 0.4% month over month, more than twice the 0.17 month over month required over time to produce year-on-year -year inflation at 2%. Indeed, there will be several more Fed speakers over the coming week with the minutes of the February uh, Federal Open Market Committee meeting also likely to reveal that they were not terribly far away from hiking by 50 basis points, having done 25 in February. Markets think this will be the standard incremental move from now on. From a technical perspective, the dollar index continued to extend higher and versus the swing low we have at 102.38 we now have an upside technical corrective pattern which should complete into the 105.50 so I'm looking for any three-way corrective uh, moves back into this ascending trend channel support coming in 103.20s 103.30s I'll watch for bullish reversal patterns there to engage on the long side and we are targeting the 105.50s at this stage it would take a close back through the trend channel support at that 103.20 to suggest that the correction is already complete and a resumption of the downtrend is underway moving to the eurozone and uh, lots of sentiment data out of the eurozone for the week ahead which will shed light on how the economy is performing in february both consumer confidence and pmis have been showing slight recovery in recent months and are expected to continue recovery albeit at low levels this should be in line with the economic activity broadly stalling as it did in the fourth quarter in terms of the euro dollar from a technical perspective i'm looking for resistance to be maintained at 10730s from there i want to be short looking for a move down to target the equality objective versus our corrective uh, potential b wave high at 10804 gives us 10430s as the downside ob equality objective at this stage it would take close back through 108 to suggest that the correction could already be complete and we could re, uh, look at retesting price cycle highs up into that 110.30s. Moving to the UK, let's take a look at the data docket for the UK this week. On Monday, we get February right move house prices, 0.9% last time out. Price correction to remain entrenched for the remainder of 2023 is the view there. We also get manufacturing services PMIs on Tuesday, 47.5 for manufacturing, 49.3 for services. Comparatively, the UK faces a tough near-term outlook, but the expected scale of recession now seems smaller. And then we round out the data slate in the UK on Friday with the February GFK uh, consumer sentiment. Last time, negative 45 inflation and rates have left consumers deeply pessimistic. From a technical perspective, Similar now with a lot of these dollar majors at the moment, whilst we maintain a potential B wave high 122.70s, we have a 117.82 downside equality objective. We have monthly projected range support coming in just above there, 117.90. So I'm looking for any pullbacks back into 120.70, uh, 120.90, watch bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, targeting a move down to our equality objective. Moving to Japan, in terms of the data slate this week, Tuesday, manufacturing and services PMIs, uh, 48.9, 52.3. Manufacturers' health depends on support from demand, which is proving to be a positive, 
in the services sector. And then uh, the only other data of note in Japan next week is going to be on Friday, January CPI year-over-year uh, year percentage, 4.4% price pressures building steadily, BOJ to remain unperturbed in their monetary policy stance for now. Obviously, we have the new uh, BOJ Governor Ueda, who will be uh, reassessing the policy position uh, for the Bank of Japan in the coming weeks and months. From a technical perspective, looking for the dollar yen to target the equality objective versus the swing low, 129.70s gives us 135.50. Monthly projected range resistance just above there, 135.65s. I'm looking for bearish reversal patterns here to engage on the short side. And I think we could be taking a trip down to 120 as the next downside objective. Moving to Australia and the Aussie dollar in terms of data down under RBA minutes on Tuesday, more color around the hawkish shift in guidance. Then on Wednesday, uh, get the leading index, Westpac leading index, uh, clear signal of slowing to uh, beyond trend pace, really. Below, sorry, below trend pace. Uh, we also get price index as well, wage price index, 1% last time. Looking for a potential 1.1% residual. Minimum wage increase will further boost the Q4 print and then on Thursday we get capital expenditure looking for 1.3% there potential for a 2% print on the upside equipment uptrend should resume after the Q3 dip that we saw last year and that rounds out the data down under in Australia for this week so what we're looking at here now is any Three wave corrective moves back into test towards this trend channel resistance, the high volume nodes, 6960s. I want to be engaged on the short side. The initial target is going to be for this uh, ascending daily trend channel support. Technically, we could extend further than that. Let's just draw in what we'd be looking at as the equality objective on the downside. 6720s would be the technical equality objective. Also coincide just below their monthly projected range support. So any move down into that area certainly want to be watching for bullish reversal patterns uh, in line again with a bunch of these dollar majors. We could then be seeing the end of this dollar correction to the upside. Last but not least, let's check in with Bitcoin, our weekend risk barometer. Uh, stage a decent recovery. Whilst we hold the 25,000 level now, I'm looking for a three wave corrective move to test 23,114 uh, on the downside before once again looking for an extension into that uh, monthly, uh, sorry, yearly pivot uh, just below 27,000. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.